Hello, Miles Maeda here with more Modern Yoga Movement videos for you. In this sequence, we are going to focus on engaging the myofascial core and see how it stabilizes our movements and postures while standing. And we'll be looking at one pose in particular, standing balance pose, which is tree pose. You want to stand with your feet hip-width apart and let us connect with the myofascial core. It starts from the arches of the feet, goes up through the inner thighs, pelvic floor, deep abdominals, all along the spine, up through the throat. So we'll do center gathering to connect with this. So energetically feel the arches and let's inhale, draw the arms up, feeling a lift at the inner thighs, pelvic floor, all the way through the spine and throat reaching all the way up, and exhale, arms come down. Now this line actually travels behind the calf muscles and the knees, so let's add a heel raise so we can feel that. Inhale, drawing up from the arches, lifting the pelvic floor, feeling this all the way up through the throat, so we're stabilizing the core here, and exhale, heels down, arms down. Let's do that one more time. Inhale, just let the elbows float up. Feel this deep inner lift, engaging those deep abdominals. And exhale, arms down. So let's see if we can maintain this awareness and engagement of the myofascial core as we do this sequence. So come to the front of your mat, feet hip-width apart. And we're going to do our roll-down vinyasa. We've done this in previous videos, so I won't describe it in too much detail here, but we'll do the first one slowly. So we're standing, balance between the feet. We wanna center the pelvis, so that's a lift up at the pubic bone, energy flowing down at the sacrum, and also engaging our myofascial core. So inhale here, and exhale. Let's roll the spine down around the throat and pause. Inhale. On the exhale, roll the spine around the solar plexus. So we're feeling the lift up the front of the body as well as our myofascial core. Inhale. And on the exhale, the spine rolls around the pubic bone. And let's just pause here and feel the f energy flowing up the front of the body, flowing down the back of the body as well as this deep inner lift, lifting the pelvic floor, deep abdominals engaged. Inhale, and on the exhale, let's come all the way down, bend the knees, hands on the floor, and soften. Inhale, extend the legs forward, bend, you can keep your head down, and exhale, bend the knees again, soften. Half forward bend, inhale, so extend your arms and legs, as well as your spine. And let's step or walk back to Downward Facing Dog. And let's walk in place so we can soften the soles of the feet, the backs of the legs. You can shift your pelvis side to side, softening the sides of the hips. And you can even rotate your spine, looking right and left. Okay, Downward Dog, inhale. And let's hold this Downward Dog, so let the breath flow and see if you can feel the lift of the pelvic floor, deep abdominals engaged, lengthening of the spine. Now let's relax the throat, relax the jaw, relax the head, so no tension, and reestablish length in the neck. And inhale, let's do our wave. Exhale, roll the spine one vertebra at a time into our plank. So pressing the heels back, lifting our myofascial core, and then lower the knees, go back into downward dog. Inhale here, exhale. And let's step the right leg forward, all the way between the hands, in our nice lunge. So we're feeling the weight of the body in the legs and feet. We're pressing the feet away from each other gently. This creates stability and engages our core. So we're reaching back through the heel and feel that deep inner lift. 
Stretch the arms alongside the body. Nice long spine. Inhale, sweep the arms forward so your arms are by your ears. Exhale, swim the arms out to the sides. And we'll do a crescent lunge. So inhale, come up, bend the elbows. And we're stretching the hip flexors so the psoas is part of our myofascial core. Stretching and opening the hips. Inhale, arms back alongside the ears. And exhale, hands on the floor. Let's step back. Inhale, heels up. And exhale, heels down. Let's do the other side. Step the left leg forward between your hands. So a nice lunge. Again, feel the weight of your body in your legs and feet. And we're gently pressing the feet away from each other. And notice how that creates stability. Activate our myofascial core. Extend the arms alongside the body. So nice, long spine. Inhale, sweep the arms forward. Exhale, swim the arms back. And crescent lunge, inhale, bending the elbows, open the chest, and we're lengthening the hip flexors. Stretch forward, inhale, and exhale, hands on the floor. Step back, inhale, heels up, and exhale, heels down. Let's do our wave, inhale, downward dog. And exhale, rolling up the spine and lifting energetically up the spine, our myofascial core. Nice, stable, and strong plank. Lower the knees, travel back, downward facing dog. Inhale. Exhale, bend the knees, look forward. And we'll walk or step up to the hands. Inhale, half forward bend. Exhale, bend the knees, palms flat on the floor, soften. Inhale, extend the legs, forward bend. And on the exhale, let's roll up, centering the pelvis, feeling a lift up the front of the body, flow, energy flowing down the back, and a deep inner lift, our myofascial core. All right, let's do that again. So once again, just check the centeredness of your pelvis, balancing equally between your feet. Inhale here, feel a lift from the back of the head, a lift from our deep myofascial core, and exhale, let's roll the spine down. So keep lifting up as we're rolling down, and keep your pelvis centered as long as you can. And then bend the knees, hands flat on the floor. Soften. Inhale, extend the legs, forward bend. Exhale, bend the knees, relax. Half forward bend, inhale, lengthen your back. And step or walk back to downward facing dog. Now I'm gonna mirror you here. So you step your right leg forward. I'm stepping my opposite leg forward and we're in our lunge. Now, you can take a big step or you can take a smaller step, that's fine. Place your hands on your hips, feel stability in your spine, and come up right. Extending both legs, keep that right heel lifted. Now check that your pelvis and shoulders are squared and your pelvis is centered. So we'll bend both knees, inhale, and go straight down, exhale, and come back up, inhale. Now while we're doing this, lift the pelvic floor, exhale, lift the spine, inhale. So if there was a string tied to the top of our head, it's pulling up as we go down. Let's do one more. And again, this is opening the hip flexors, come up. You're gonna turn to the left, so you're facing the side of the mat and your feet are turned out quite wide. Extend the arms and check that your pelvis is centered. Inhale, bend the knees, arms come up, and exhale down. So this is lengthening the hamstrings. Inhale, feel a lift at the pelvic floor, lift of the spine as we go down. Let's do a couple more. Feeling grounded in your legs and feet and feel a nice lift deep inner lift 
in the spine. Now let's turn and face the left. Make sure that right heel is up. Extend both legs. Center the pelvis. Square the pelvis and the shoulders. Inhale. And on the exhale, lift as you bend both knees. Coming up. And do your best to center the pelvis. So we're feeling like the spine gets longer as we go down. Let's do one more. Inhaling and exhaling. Now let's turn back to the side of the mat. Again, your feet are open wide, arms out, pelvis centered. Inhale and exhale. Reach through the arms. Keep the shoulders down. Nice lifted spine. And last one. Inhale and exhale. Bring your hands back to your hips. Turn back to face the front of your mat. Bend the front knee so you can lunge. Place the hands on the floor. Step back. Inhale, heels up. And exhale, heels down. And let's do our wave. Inhale, exhale. Coming into a nice strong plank. Lifting the belly as well as lifting the pelvic floor, lengthening the spine. Knees down, travel back, downward dog. Inhale, exhale, bend the knees, look forward. And walk or step up to the hands. Inhale, half forward bend. Lengthening the spine. Exhale, bend the knees, hands down. Keep the head and neck relaxed. Inhale, forward bend, extend the legs. And on the exhale, roll up, centering the pelvis first. So you can feel the sits bones being drawn towards the heels. And feel the deep inner lift as you come up to standing. All right, so now stand with your feet hip-width apart, and we're going to visualize our plumb line. So if there were a string tied to the top of the inside of the head, the skull, and there was a string or a wire, and at the bottom of it, it was a weight that comes to a point, a heavy weight, but it's not touching the floor, it's just slightly over the floor hovering that will create a perfectly vertical line in the middle of the body. Let's interlace the hands, and we're going to shift our body weight over the right foot and feel that plumb line shift as well. Come back to center and then shift to the left. So it's a small movement. We don't want that weight to swing. Just move so it's over the foot. Now see if you can bend the left knee, lift the heel, place it down as we shift to the left, and bend the right knee and lift the right heel. Good, so we're just feeling our plumb line shifting side to side. Now the left knee and heel come up, and you externally rotate, you can place your hands on your hips, and then place the foot at your ankle. So we feel the standing leg grounded, we feel the spine lifted, and we can balance here at a very basic tree pose. Let's bring the feet back, shift to the other side. So we're bending the knee, lifting the heel, externally rotate the leg and place the foot at the ankle. And just feel, again, the grounding of the standing leg and a lifting of the spine. And let's return the leg, feet hip width apart. Shifting to the right, keeping our center line over the foot. Now without lifting the hip, see if you can bend the knee, lift the ankle or heel, and then lift the knee. Grab onto your ankle and come into tree pose. So the foot comes to the top of the inner thigh. If that is difficult, you can place the foot at the calf muscle. Careful not to place it at the knee joint. We don't want to strain the joint. So it's better to put it above or below. 
Now here, the knee does not need to be out to the side. Check that your hips are squared, shoulders are squared, and let's feel this deep inner lift of the myofascial core. So with our arms, connect with the arch of the right foot. Inhale, draw up. Keep grounding through the leg, lifting through the spine, all the way up through the throat, and exhale. And let's do that one more time. We're gonna suspend at the top, inhale. If you're wobbling, that's totally fine. That's part of tree pose. And let's pause here and breathe. So just check that your leg is grounded. You're feeling centered over the foot. Pelvis is centered. We feel a lift at the pelvic floor. Deep abdominals engaged, lifting all the way up through the throat. And on our next exhale, the arms can come out to the sides, extend that bent leg, and come back to standing. Now that can put a little stress on the standing leg, so it's okay to roll around the feet and the ankles. Just bring some relaxation back to the legs. And we'll do the other side. So you can have your hands on your hips and shift your weight so that you're over the left foot. Bend the knee, lift the heel, and see if you can lift the knee without lifting the hip. So you bring the knee up using the hip flexors, and then we grab on to the ankle. Placing the foot, the top of the thigh, again, you can modify this, and just feel like your thigh and your foot are pressing against each other. Check that your hips are squared, shoulders are squared. <laughs> again, wobbling is part of tree pose. You don't want to be stiff. It's better to be able to move. <laughs> All right, let's connect with our deep front line. So from the arch, feel a lift up the inner thigh, pelvic floor, all along the spine through the throat. So we're grounding down through the leg, lifting up through the spine. And exhale, just let the arms float down. Let's do that one more time and we'll hold at the top, inhale. So you can feel like the leg is reaching down, the spine is lifting up and we hold. And just let the breath flow. Shoulders are down, extend your elbows. And we can check that the pelvis is centered. We can feel a lift and also energy going down, grounding into the earth. On your next exhale, arms come out to the sides, extend that bent leg and come back to standing. And once again, that can bring a little bit of tension into the legs and hips. So let's roll the feet around and ankles to bring relaxation and openness back to our legs. All right, that completes this sequence.